Hello, everybody. Good to be with you. So today I've got a really, really fundamental and vital uh, video for you. It's not anything that I haven't known about for years. It's not anything I haven't experienced or, or worked my way through. But I never had it appear as succinctly as it has in the last week. And, I, and in the last week, I just have been unable to stop myself from talking to client after client um, along these lines. Not everybody, but a whole lot of people. When we break, when we, there's a, an apparent breakthrough, when we wake up, then there's the, then what we notice, it, it just virtually every time, or probably every time, is that the truth has been here all along and has been here incredibly obviously all along. And this will drive you mad. I remember when it drove me crazy. I remember when it was almost fighting words because it was nothing obvious about it to me. Nothing. So for someone to tell me that it was really obvious was like condescending is the way I took it. But of course, when I woke up, guess what? I was on board with that, that it's almost the most obvious thing in the world. But it's only obvious when it is, and it's only obvious in hindsight. We can see it perfectly in hindsight, but we can't see it until it's a part of the scenery that, uh, uh, that appears in hindsight. So what I want to do is try is just see if I can help you see this prior to awakening. In other words, and I know you won't be able to see it completely unless you awaken. So this is an attempt to awaken you or move you so close to awakening that 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 it occurs spontaneously at some point in the the near future, whether it be a day or a week or a month or whatever, I don't know. And it, you know, who knows if this will be effective, but, I, but I, it has moved a lot of people and it moves me every single time I say it. It's kind of two-pointed. And the first big point is this. Waking up is seeing that there's no character. That, 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 in other words, when I, what, the, what I mean by the character is the egoic personality. That there's a unit here, but that it is vacant. There's no character here. There's only a whiteness. Um, I had uh, a client write me last week, and she's in a bad situation, and she said, I just don't want to die. And I wrote her back, and I said, too late, that body is already dead because that body is an animated cadaver and you are the animation, not the cadaver. And that really helped her a lot in a very difficult time. So this is what awakening is. It's awakening to the absence of, it's, it is awakeness, awakening to the absence of a Fred. It's awakeness, awakening to the absence of your character, the person that you think you are as you listen to this. The reason that people can seek and reseek, meaning people who've had awakening experiences but are not having one right now, that you can seek and reseek for years and years and years and decades and decades and decades is that there's one thing that the character, that egoic personality, just can't get. It can't grab hold of it. It can't, quote, get its mind around it. It just can't get it. And the one thing that the character can't get is that there's no character. And it's the belief that the character is going to understand that there's no character. 
that keeps you doing this year after year, decade after decade. I know I did it for 24 years. And I've worked with people who've done it for 60 years and 50 and 40 and 10 and 5 and everything in between. We keep thinking that Fred is going to wake up to the fact that there is no Fred. See, that's awakening is waking up to the fact that there's no character. And since there is no actual character, there are patterns here, but there's no, no nothing in the middle of Hurricane Fred, just patterns. And these but it's the idea that somehow a character, the character that we think we are, is going to wake up to the fact that there's no character. Because we can't really understand what that means. Because it's not a logical thing. You just can't get there through logic. I, I use a lot of logic in awakening sessions, but it's to, to take us where the point where we can make the leap from logic into that, whatever that is. Since there's no character... There's no possibility that a character can wake up. So if you think you're that body and that egoic personality over there, and you're waiting to wake up, it's never going to happen. Never. Not to the one that you think you are. Because the one that you think you are does not exist. <laughs> there is no Fred over there to understand that there is no Fred. What I'm hoping this will do will be to inspire collapse. Where you realize that there's that you can't do it. Surrender, be way to put it. For, for me, it was more like collapse. Where you realize that since there's no character, that this thing that's trying to wake up and keeps waiting to wake up is just your imagination. It's just an it's just an imagined character. The character can never break through to awakeness. Because awakeness is, is, is what's real and it's true and it's beyond the reach of the character. The character is waiting for a conscious awakeness to show up in its presence. And conscious awakeness can show up only in the character's absence. So it's awakeness that wakes up to the absence of a character. It's not the character that wakes up to an absence of a character. <laughs> you must get this if you're going to get off that road. Go get off that wheel. Let me put it in a slightly different way. This is the second prong, if you will. This is a model of a brain. And a real brain weighs about eight pounds. And these things are really, really handy. You can do a lot of things with them and they can do a lot of they can do a lot of good and harm. But they're they're busy little creatures and they are arrogant little things. However, they they they, they, they spawn arrogance, let's put it that way. But there's one thing that the brain can't get. There's one thing that the brain just cannot understand. And what the brain can't understand is that the brain can't understand non-dual truth. It cannot. And what are you trying to do 
all these years, you're trying to understand non-dual truth. The mind is trying to understand something that is way beyond the mind. The mind is, is this thing, eight pounds, tiny, 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 fleck, 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 flecking of the wholeness, if you will. Not that it's actually separate, but if we were to, to measure it as if it were separate. And this thing is trying to, this, this little tiny part is trying to hold the truth, the wholeness of which it is a part. The part cannot contain the whole. Although the whole can very easily contain the part. What the, what, the, what the part has got to recognize is that its job is only to see what is not true. That's what this thing's job is for in regard to non-duality, non-dual truth. Is it, is, it, is, it is a tool to be used to see what is not true. It is a tool for inquiry. It is a tool for self-inquiry, the self having a capital S. But it's not going to come up with the answer. It's just to do the inquiry. Because the answer will come from without this mind, from beyond this mind. It will not arise from this mind as in a thought. It just won't happen. This cannot understand that it cannot understand. Can you understand that? And when I say, can you understand that, I'm not talking to a bunch of people out there. I'm talking to myself. This is conscious awakeness speaking to unconscious awakeness. I'm trying to wake you up, my dear, my love, myself. I'm trying to help you see the truth of your true nature right now. Because you're the only one who can see it. That unit you're misidentified with will never, ever get this. Quit expecting it to. It's not wired to get this. It's wired to be resistant to this. Resistant to this. Because this is resistance. This body is conditioned space, which is resistant to this unconditioned space. It is resistance. We want to get rid of all the, re the resistance. If so, the body will disappear. <laughs> At which point you may find out, well, you won't need it. You won't miss it. You don't need a body. You just will no longer know that you are. No big, no problem with there whatsoever. Nizir Gadate used to say that all the trouble begins with I am. And he was absolutely right. The character cannot get that there's no character. Just can't. So there's no use in trying. Just give up. It's better to know that you don't know and that you can't know than it is to think you can know or do know or did know. Because in terms of knowledge, as we... Think of it conventionally. It's never going to happen. The knowing that we speak of in the, the, the when we say that, oh, there is the knowing, that's of a higher order. It's not, the, the unit is not the possessor of that higher knowing. It is, the unit is the object of that higher knowing. 
that higher knowing is subjective and it is it, it, it and, and, and the and everything out the world and everything in it and the universe and everything in it every thought every movement every every object every physical object every mental object every subtle object those are objects to the one subject You are sentience itself. You are sentience in itself. You are pure subjectivity. And as, as pure subjectivity, you are never going to be realized by one of your objects. You can realize yourself through one of these objects. That's actually what happens. It's you're the one that wakes up. And, not, and it's not real waking up because you are awakeness itself. You're not awake. You're not not awake. You're awakeness. You are awakeness itself. And what happens for you when there is what we call awakening is that you simply move from an unconscious state of awakeness into a state of conscious awakeness. An unconscious state of awakeness, you're still awake because you're, it's, it's, but it's not awake, you're still awakeness. But you don't know it. So you're, and, 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 and until you do, you're in search of that. I don't care what, what your seeking mechanism is. I don't care if it's gambling, drugs, success, money, call, fast cars, mountains, whatever it is. Drugs, alcohol, too obvious. Food, I mean, the obvious addictions. But there are so many, 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 many subtle addictions. You're all subject, you're, you are all, we are all addicted to the idea of separation. There's no separation. <laughs> so we are addicted to something that doesn't exist. So, but we're going to search it and search for it and search for the, we, we know that there is an end to this separation, but there's no separation to begin with. So that's futile. This is it, talking to it. This is conscious awakeness, talking to hopefully conscious awakeness in many ports over there. Give up on this. Use this for the wonderful gifts that it carries, but give up on the idea that it is ever going to come to know non-dual truth. Give up waiting for the character to come to know non-dual truth. You do it instead. Awakeness. Come be conscious. Come be conscious. Bye-bye for now.